Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, I will be talking about uh, like uh, medium type problem by unique binary search trees, and it is the second type problem of the series of problems unique binary search trees. Okay, so the only thing that I will recommend you before solving this problem is like unique binary search trees. Go over there, and this problem differs with the actual problem that I am going to discuss in this video. It's like uh, like in this problem unique binary search trees we are going to find out the number of unique binary search trees that is going to be possible with the given value of n note that we have to return the number of structurally unique bhts which has exactly n nodes of unique values from 1 to n but in our actual problem which i am going to discuss now we need to return all those possible orientations of this binary trees uh, in other words, you can easily understand this problem as you need to return the different like uh, you have the different possible binary search trees. You need to return the root node address of all those possible binary search trees so that we can build that binary search tree. Okay, so you can see that if n is equal to 3, there are 5 possible binary search trees. We need to return the orientations of that. Okay, so given an integer n, return all the structurally unique BSTs which has exactly n nodes of unique values from 1 to n return the answer in any order okay so how we are going to do that and what would be the best solution for this problem i'm going to discuss all over that with the help of examples so let's move on to understand this problem in detail note that the constraint n is around it so we would be doing the recursion okay so let's move on okay so let's understand the concept of binary search tree first suppose we have a node and uh, this is the left child node of this current node and this is the right child node of this current node okay so according to the concept of binary search tree if any node is going to lie in this binary search tree it is going to hold the following relation that is any node that is present in the subtree of this left child node is going to hold the value strictly less than the value of this node x let's call the value present at this node as x and any node that is being lying in the subtree of the right child node of this current node, let's call it as Z, is going to hold the value strictly greater than X. Okay. Now, uh, in this problem, we have been given the value of N. Let's call it as N as 3 for now. Then we have the, we need to build up uh, different binary search trees, unique, structurally unique binary search trees, where every node is going to hold the value from 1, 2, and 3. Okay and uh, the values frequency should be exactly one okay now what we are going to understand through this one is like uh, first you need to be very much careful about the fact that you must be aware about the concept of catalan number so the number of unique binary search trees is possible for a given n is like uh, cn where cn is the nth catalan number you can find out the cn as uh, summation of c i into c of n minus i okay where i is going to vary from 0 to n minus 1 if i am not wrong this is the correct formula for finding the nth catalan number where the base case is like c0 is like uh, i don't know uh, c0 is like 0 or 1 i don't know you can check it out i think c1 is 1 okay so you can just cross check it out but this is the general formula that you are going to have the for the nth catalan number so if we if n is going to be 3 so we need to have c3 and c3 will always come out to be 5 i think i have remembered this one okay so there are five possible unique binary search trees that is being over here so what are those unique structurally unique binary search trees that is being possible okay note that we are going to have the values from these one these one two and three now you can see that we have the this root node and we need to build three more like two more nodes over there okay so this root node can hold the value from 1, 2 or 3. Like it can hold from the value from 1, 2 and 3. Then, But uh, we need to find out the total number of orientations. So what we are going to do is we are going to try out all those possible values. Okay. So suppose that the value is 1 over here. Now this 1 is the root node. Okay. So you can see that whatever the node that is going to line the left subtree must be holding the value strictly less than 1. But there are no more nodes. So you are going to represent it as null. Okay, now you are going to fill up the right subtree. Okay. So in this right subtree, you can see that we are going to hold the values from uh, like greater than 1. Okay, so here we will have the range of values 2 to 3. 
okay now here we will have the range of values okay now we need to build up the left child node and the right child node of this current node okay okay now what we are going to do we have two possible values either we are going to choose two or we are going to choose three right so let's say we are going to choose two as the root node if i am going to choose two as the root node of this current node like current subtree then we are going to say that whatever the nodes that is going to lie in the left subtree will be holding the value from 2 to 1 and this interval is actually does not exist you can see because left interval is greater than the right interval this is not possible okay so we are going to say that yes we are we are having this null as the current value for this one so the left child node of this node 2 will be null and what will be the right child node if the current node is 2 the right child node is going to hold the value from greater than 2 right so from 3 to the current uh, maximum value is 3 so 3 to 3 so the only possible node is being possible is like 3 over this one okay so you can see that we have the binary search tree as this one where this is null and this is null and 3 is the leaf node okay so uh, by this way we can have a mode number like total 5 BHTs that is being possible we need to return all those okay like 1 3 and 2 is also one of these BHTs and if you like uh, consider taking 2 as the root node you can see that 2 1 3 is also a binary search tree and uh, if you consider taking 3 as the root node then what will happen is like 3 2 and 1 is other one of the BHTs so 3 1 and 2 is this is also one of the BHTs so you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 BHTs that is being possible okay so uh, i'm not going to like uh, do some brute force explanations and like to show all those how the answer is coming what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide the general solution of this problem okay so consider the case like uh, we have uh, been given n and we need to build up all the like we need to find out the structurally unique bhts orientations as well okay so what is the possibility of taking the like uh, we need to first fix up the root node okay so the root node is going to hold the values from 1 and it goes the value up to n okay so in general we are going to have a recursive solution and why we are going to have a recursive solution the very first claiming factor is like you can see the n is like very small around 8 so we can have the all those answers and uh, if uh, we I am not wrong the Catalan number is like 2n factorial upon Okay, so Catalan number is like 2n cn upon n plus 1, I think. If I think it goes like the complexity is around 4 days to the power n. And the reason behind is that if I'm thinking if I will expand it, then the 4 days to the power n factor will come up. Here the complexity is around 4 days to the power n. And if 4 days to the power 8, be around 2 days to the power 16. So it will be around, uh, yeah, 10 days to the power 6 or around, I don't know but this will satisfy our needs okay so what i'm going to do is like we are going to iterate like uh, for the root node we have the range of values from 1 to n right so we would take up or we would fix up some root node lying in the range 1 to n let's call it as 3 suppose n is around more than 3 like 10 okay so we will be like suppose n is 10 and so root node can hold the value either 1 2 3 and it goes up to 10 like that okay suppose i is the root node okay in the range from 1 to n then the range 1 to n is going to be divided into two intervals like 1 to i minus 1 obviously and the right node right child node is going to have the like the right sub is going to be hold the interval of i plus 1 to the range n okay now again you can see that this interval should also be broken into two parts and this interval should also be broken into two parts why i am going to do that and how it is going to be done okay you can see that i have fixed this i for the root node similarly i can fix some j for this one and similarly i can fix some k for this one and let's say i am going to fix some k for this one then our interval is going to be break upon up to this one i plus one to k minus one and this interval interval would be again the right one would be k plus 1 up to the n and similarly it goes on okay now the thing is like suppose up to here we will have a list of nodes okay 
let's call it as n1 n2 and let's call it as n3 only okay like n1 n2 and n3 is going to uh, denote that uh, for this subtree we would have n1 as the root node and n2 as the root node and n3 as the root node and similarly for this subtree we would be having as m1 as the root node note that i'm talking about this subtree right now and m2 as again the root node of this subtree and m3 as the root node of this subtree okay suppose that there are three root nodes for this subtree and three root nodes for this subtree and we need to find out the, the total number of bhts possible up to this one like up to this as the root node Okay, you can see that there are three possibilities of the left child node and there are three possibilities of the right child node. So what are the total number of possibilities of the current root node? So the total number of possibilities of the current root node would be 3 into 3 obviously, so there, so there would be 9. One. Okay, so what you are going to do is like you are going to make a temporary node and call it as the root node and you are going to say uh, that left child node would be N1 and right child node would be M1 and if i'm going to fix n1 then this is going to vary from m1 m2 and m3 so there are three child nodes like three different right child nodes if we fix n1 and similarly if we fix n2 there are three more right child nodes m1 n2 m3 and if we fix again n3 then we will have m1 m2 and m3 so there are total nine possible bhts if we fix this one and three as the number of left child nodes and number of right child nodes okay so this gives us the idea that what we are going to do is in the recursive step is like we are trying to fix a particular node. If I am being able to fix a particular node, I am going to divide my current interval from 1 to i minus 1 and i plus 1 to n. And this goes on if we have found if we have been founding the left interval is going to have the value strictly greater than right interval. So this interval is not possible. So I am going to return null in this case. Okay, so if you are not going to understand this whole stuff right now, no need to worry about. Let's head over to the code to understand this in detail. Okay, so what I have done is like you can see, uh, there is a recursive function and uh, you can see I am calling the recurs one to one. So find out the, all the possible structurally unique BHTs. So if L is going to be greater than R, return null because so we are not having the any like possible current node we are going to build up we are not going to have the dividing the intervals note that i am going to pass the parameters as one to one okay uh, yeah like i'm passing the argument as one to one and i'm going to divide it divide each time this interval now this answer is going to store the current answer possible up to this subtree and what we are going to do is we are going to take out the total number of possible left child node and total number of possible right child node if we are going to fix a root node in the interval l to r you can see root is going to vary from l and ending up to r and if root is a particular like we are fixing this particular i where i is here you can see the root and if i'm going to fix it then my interval is going to break from l to root minus one and root plus one to r so i'm going to i'm trying to find out total number of possible bhts in the range l to root minus one this is called as left uh, left child nodes you can also say and similarly this will be called as right child nodes then our answer would be like total number like the size of this one and size of this one product of these two values but we need to find out the structurally unique bhts and their orientation so we need to assign the like assign the addresses also okay so you can see for every left node and for every right node in these vectors I am going to make a new node and assign left as this one and assign right as this one. So this will be one of our answers. So this, I will push back it into our answer vector and finally return the answer for the current step. So this will give me all test cases passed, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So the complexity would be like O of CN where CN is the Catalan number, like nth Catalan number you can understand in this way. So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and to subscribe to YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.